We are having some minor setbacks to start off today's video. Unfortunately, Tim's park lights, or I guess tail lights, front lights, stopped working. So he's trying to diagnose that right now. In the last video, we left off with painting the Gloria in the paint booth. Can't wait to go check that out later today, put it in the sun. But on the way home, we ran into a small problem. The small problem was a raccoon. Unfortunately, I plowed into him, <laughs> going like 80 and Oh, I just realized the fog light broke too. I didn't know that happened. I knew the bumper got messed up. Oh, there's some hairs in there still. This is another reason why I'm so scared to run a fiberglass front bumper. <laughs> it'd be obliterated. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be in a million pieces. There'd be nothing left on the car. Look at how many pieces. <laughs> Dude, the whole housing. <laughs> oh my God. Nissan, that's actually a cool piece. Uh, at least attempt to drift stitch this side of the bumper back on because it'll look so bad without it You can see we already had to do that on this side somehow one zip tie remained thank god because otherwise we would have lost it Yeah, so rough start to the day rough start to the video But hopefully by the end of it. We'll have all these small issues figured out All right, so I'm kind of curious because it was a, it was a big raccoon. It wasn't a small one. So I'm looking in here further Dude my radiator it damaged my radiator. I don't think it's leaking though, surprisingly. Yeah. Oh, the radiator is not cheap on this. If it's not leaking, I might as well just run it for now. Does anyone want some fog light junk? I'm just happy this car wasn't finished because I can just drill holes right into the bumper and you know, I don't really care because it's not done yet. That's the beauty of project cars. If they're not done, it don't matter. For a few holes and a couple zip ties, I'd say this definitely gets the job done. <laughs> It'll do for now until I get a new bumper for it. Gonna have to find a fog light though, that's the next issue. All right, let's see how Tim's doing over here. All right, so you're checking your fuses. Oh well, yeah, and I pulled my whole car apart. <laughs> <laughs> and I probably didn't need to. <laughs> yeah, well I guess to get the ball out, we're just no, also verifying ball, wiring actually, too. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I think this ball shorted out my whole thingy. So I blew a fuse and I got pulled over last night. Cops came for me and now I got to deal with it. Here's the find. Hold it up to the light. See the break in the middle. That'll do it. Now what caused that to break? Because typically parking lights don't just blow fuses out of nowhere. My suggestion was that this bulb, you can kind of see the filament here. This bulb's filament was too long. Sometimes that can happen where the string stretches out and it hit the other filament within the bulb. What was the problem you were having? You'd put your turn signal on and it would back feed, right? Well, yeah. So like one night I just signaled left and then the turn signal light just stayed on. It, it wasn't like flashing. It just stayed on. Works now. What now? See, that's, that, that was what happened. Oh, just turn the signal left? just stays on. Are you, all and your all turn time. signal's not on right now? No. What the heck? My headlights are on. Maybe the bulb's in backwards. Switch the bulb direction, and you can see here both filaments are lighting up. Even with the bulb removed, the problem is still persistent. Light is still on the dash, so we gotta dig deeper into the wiring here. It's not the bulb. All right, we're gonna go back a step here and look at the other turn signal and running light that is on this headlight housing itself. Because there's wires that are spliced into the housing here, you can kind of see. And it lights up a little strand on the bottom. Looks pretty cool, right? But we're gonna eliminate that since that is our current issue. There was a little crack back here and we're thinking maybe moisture got in it. I don't know. Gone. Yeah, it's normal. Works. Fast blink because it's we gotta plug in the rear bulb again. We plug that guy back in. I just need a new headlight jack. Turn signal? Yep, good. Dude, that was easy. And it's quiet. It was just the uh just the housing. Man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, here's here's an example. This will turn orange, right? Yeah, it's actually kind of cool here. Yeah, but we gotta at least show it, right? No, you put your right oh ignition has to be on for turn signals to work. Doesn't have to be running though. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That was the issue. And I had to get hassled for all of this. For real. Yeah, it was definitely the moisture, dude. The feds are on me. Headlight assembly? Yeah, headlight, headlight assembly. Because it was I got like, your old one. Yeah, I know, right? But though, that one's toasted. You know how toasted <laughs> that is. 
No electrical problem. Though. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Not everyone's rich. <laughs> <laughs> paint match tape? Dude, leave me alone. It's pretty close, actually. <laughs> no, this isn't it. The real paint match tape? That's it. Oh, dude, I didn't even know there was tape there. I did not even see that. I know, it's great. This stuff, you can see through it. You can see my rust spot. But I got a new... New headlights, new fender. Bronx, Mr. Andrew Son is going to get me right. Give me the Bronx sauce for the front. This thing's going to look right next season, hopefully. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm more focused on drifting, but I definitely want this thing to look right, man. It, it deserves the treatment. Soon. This year is the year. Yeah. After we stop hitting raccoons and blowing <laughs> fuses and oh, what you got going on? Dude, this Clutches. Happened to, <laughs> this happened to me at six in the morning on my way to work. Man. Devastated. Dude, that happened to be like... at 3 a.m. just getting <laughs> home after painting the Gloria. I feel like we kind of do it to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're always doing something. Always something. Always we're always somewhere. out and about. Yep. Higher risk. Head test in the Z. I can go because this is down, but promise you when that's down, I ain't fin. We gotta drive there with the hatch open then. Put it down, let's see what I got. Let's see it. Dude, it ain't bad. Oh, there's head clearance. <laughs> I don't know about clearance. <laughs> Any bump we hit, I'm, I'm smashing my shit. If I sit like this though, it will be straight. Oh yeah, that's good for your back too. Yeah, it's great for it. I think you're the only one to ever sit back there so far. It's honestly, the way that this hugs your butt, look at that. It is deep, dude, for a back seat. Wait, let me fingerboard that. <laughs> All right, let's go see the Gloria. Man. A little bit more work to do, but... We got the hard part done. Yeah, I'd say we got a pretty good start, eh? Yeah. This thing came out mint. Killed yeah, it, it on the it, job, it man. It definitely came out pretty nice. I'm not uh, This is no buff, no wet sand, straight uh, out the booth. Let's say I'm not this unsatisfied, I'll say that. <laughs> Bro, honestly, what I got. Oh, look, a little glimpse of sun. Oh, yeah. What quarter panel job? That's that's the most impressive part of this whole like, thing. Like the this? how uniform everything. Oh my god, dude! You cannot solid. tell at all. Yeah. Yeah. Even the rear end here. Yeah, it's good. Good stuff, dude. Smiles per gallon will be at an all-time high in this car. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it probably gets good gas mileage, honestly. Nah, it's a VG. You know how that goes. You think this yeah. is good now? Wait till you see it. Wet sand and buffed and in the sunlight. Right, right. Real. <laughs> With some chrome Johnny's? No, wait till they see you that. There you go. True, true, true. You know what I'm saying? This guy forgot how to turn it on. We are slowly driving the Gloria back to Peyton's shop where we will then assemble the car. Probably not going to assemble it today, but hopefully soon. But it was nice to be able to use a paint booth to try and really up the quality of the paint job. I'd say it made a big difference. There's not a lot of dirt in the paint. We haven't even wet sand and buffed it, like I said. It'll only get better from here. Dude, Nate's back in the Z. Back in better than ever. Back in business. <laughs> oh, dude, that, <laughs> that bump got my camera shaking. All right, this will be the sunlight reveal. Jeez. That came out incredible. You can kind of see the purple a lot more in the sun. Yo, the one thing that ruined this little roller clip that I got is the sticker on the corner that says die. <laughs> no, it didn't ruin it. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> happy with it? Why? Oh, I'm happy with it. Yeah, it looks great. It looks like glass, man. Yeah. yeah. Came out great. 
I love this tinge of purple that you're getting through right now. I can right? really tell, actually, in the sunlight. For real. It was hard to tell in the booth, and you were talking about it a lot, and now I'm, like, impressed. Dude, yeah. <laughs> for real. Look at that fender. Mm. You can see how it just goes over it. Like, Straight out the booth. Peyton killed it, dude. Yes. He did a good job. Yeah, he did a killer job. The yeah, first of many. I love the hint of purple. In it. Right? Just enough to know, like. Uh, yeah. So much better in direct sunlight. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you lose it on that side. It's crazy how different of an effect you get. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. It looks like gray blue on this side. It looks like it looked when you bought it. Like, you know? That right. Color, that OE color. Well, the thing is, we never really saw it in the sunlight now. Think about it. It's been in the garage for so long. That's true. Building it, but That's true. yeah, this one was a different shade. Same paint code as the OE, but it was shade two, which had purple. So I was like, yeah, let's throw the purple in it. Glad we did. Glad we did. I don't think the video is doing this justice, honestly. Well, I got a couple good videos for you. Peyton, you killed it, bro. Killed it. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> just doing my job. Hey, you do it well. It's the first of many, I'll tell you that much. Yeah? And it ain't even done. Yeah, well, the hardest part is done, that's for sure. Back in the garage, she goes. We're walking back to Peyton's with the bumpers. We figured this is probably the best way to transport the items back without scratching them. Nate's just driving the Z back for us. Yeah, dude, this thing turned out crazy good. My man has the parts once again. We got a right side. This was a left side. Oh, this looks like a right. Oh, this one. <laughs> Damn. That's the same side. Is this oh, it's the left too. Oh, you need the right side, right? Yeah, that's oh, okay. good. Cool. Appreciate it. Yeah. Do you want anything for this? Nope. You're the man. You well, well, well. It sounds so Japanese. It does actually. The sun is out in February once again. Let's take advantage of this nice day and finally replace the one wheel that's mismatched on this car. As you guys know, this 240 has been through quite a lot in its lifetime. Basically where we left off last year on this car is replacing a valve stem on one of the NSO ones, which is actually on the wall. I put this RG1 on here for the meantime, just to keep it on the ground. And I figured while the sun is out and the ground is dry, we might as well go get some gas. It's been far too long since I felt boost. But that means I'm going to need to steal a battery out of one of the cars. The Z is honestly my daily again at this point. France 240 doesn't even have a battery in it. Right hand drive Integra. I'm probably just going to steal this battery. And I think this wheel cracked because it doesn't hold air now. That's a new problem to diagnose. Can't win with these old wheels, I swear. I always forget that I put underglow in this car. It's one of the cheapo ones, so it kind of just automatically turns on and you control it through your phone. Oh, these tires were toast anyways. Ah, nothing beats some chrome. Take off this spacer. I had to put the spacer on because the RG1 did not clear without it. Beautiful. I'm the type of guy that always starts the lug nuts by hand, so I don't want to strip them out and cause more work for myself. Beautiful. So I have to hop across because park so far to the right. I wonder if this will start first try for us. It's been a couple months. Mm, 
Nope. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about the welded diff. It's so clunky. Oh man, and the slight rub in the left rear because the quarter panel's caved in. Our very first stop is gonna be dropping off these fingerboard wheels <laughs> to my brother at his work. Well, well, well. Don't act suspicious. We have paid yet another visit to... Anyone recognize these bricks? If you guessed smokes, you are correct. Dropping off another wheel to him. This one. I'm gonna see if he remembers what the damage from this wheel is from. Mr. What's smokes, up? what is up, brother? It's good to see this thing out. Dude, right? I'm so happy it's out. Oh, that's the wheel. You recognize it? Yep. I was there. <laughs> hand in hand with this dent. He was at, you were in Stevie's car, yeah, right? I was passenger on He it. was riding passenger in the car that hit me <laughs> for yep. this damage. Which, I think this is like Stevie's wheel that hit my wheel yeah, or something. He came in backwards. Yeah. At you. Yeah. We uh, finally scheduled a day to have this dent pulled oh, out. Oh, really? Yeah. Which is coming soon? Hopefully soon. Sweet. Hopefully by the end of the month. I can't wait. We fixed it, and then boom. That's how it goes, man. It is. Yeah, you, can, you can't have nice things when it's in racing. Wanted to see, it looks like it's mostly paint, but there's some tiny... Fire rash. Yeah. Thing. And I'll probably fix up the, the edge, too. Yeah, this edge. It looks like edge. it's been possibly repaired before, because it looks like... Yeah, this wheel was re-sprayed. Yeah, because you can see it's sprayed over a, a cavity. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll fix her up. Cool. Looking, looking mint. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, no problem, man. Getting good at wheels now. Yeah, for real, you're gonna be the wheel plug, just wait. They were like bronze, I think, before. The OG sticker is still on it. They taped it off before they resprayed it. Yeah. Why? Uh, oh, they taped, okay, so they, they yeah, preserved they, it. Okay. They tried to, it's flaking though, like I thought, you, I thought they were like, they hid it underneath the paint. I'm like, why would they do oh, that? Oh no, that'd be, that'd be horrendous. Ah, smokes, what a real one. Wild RX-8? I don't know the last time I saw an RX-8 on the road. And now we finally get the gas. I don't even know the last time I filled this thing up. Okay, actually I just checked my fuel log and it was September 24th, which was the day of the crash. The last drift event day. Damn, it's been a while. Only six gallons. Well, actually seven. Every time I drive the 240 in a video, there are a couple comments asking what cluster is in it. This is actually a stock cluster. Uh, this is not a USDM version, this is the Sylvia version, S13 Sylvia. I'm pretty sure some of the 180s did come with this as well, and the 240s here in America came with that as well. This style cluster is commonly referred to as an HUD. Basically, I'm pretty sure they all came factory with an HUD if you had this screen display. Now I do have the display unit, but this is a non-HUD dash, which means I do not have the cutout for it. I don't want to ruin my perfectly mint condition S13 dash, because as you guys know, they're very hard to come by unbroken. It's always a relief being able to drive this thing and making it back without getting it smashed. I'm always on my nerves when cruising this car. I think mostly just because of how much time I've put into it and how many careless drivers there are these days. But yeah, it's driving great, no complaints. My plan this summer is to hopefully finish this car and the Z. That's the goal at least. Who knows what life will bring us this year. Franzi has stopped by because it is time for an oil change. <laughs> oh, how exciting. So we put this engine in last year because the last engine blew up. So we're verifying here if it is burning oil like the last one. Quick wipe. We are dry. <laughs> not dry. All right, typical Honda situation here. I got this. 
part. You got this part? <laughs> Alright, good. I'll do this. You can do all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's <laughs> <laughs> You even got scared. <laughs> I've never seen that much come out like that. that yeah, this one actually had some oil in it. The last engine, basically every time it was time for an oil change, there was like less than a quart. This one at least has some coffee yeah. in it. Pretty dark. dark. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Took the old filter off and it happened to be a JDM Honda filter. Forgot about that. Drain plug back in, and Franzi is filling her up. I was kind of scared. Maybe you should do this. Oh, shit. Oh, you're doing good. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Spills instantly. <laughs> That's all right. We're just lubricating the outside of the engine, too. <laughs> Rust prevention, yeah. as I like to call it. No leaks. Now the last step I like to do is log the mileage and what you did. It's way easier to keep track of what you did to your cars if you write it down. Kind of crazy, but this sedan is at 324,000 miles. What a trooper. This thing is filthy. Did we wash this at all, all winter? Did you get any washes? No. <laughs> all right, let's go change that. Okay. Race you there? This thing looks great when it's wet. <laughs> it's paint is kind of trash though. Them things blang and now. Franzi's got the interior wiped down. Well guys, that is gonna end today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. Don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. I think I'm gonna bring home the glory in the next video, so pretty excited for that. Peace.